Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread, episode 176. Woo! We're going to hit 200 before this month is out. I'm so excited. As always, I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. This is day 14. We've been doing this whole level up to stardom thing. If you have not been with us every night, I'm usually going live between like between 5 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Pacific. So if you caught me, welcome. This is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread. I want to welcome you. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love, because that's important. And, you know, this is your first time watching me. I want to welcome if this is to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, tonight we're talking about suiting up. Hashtag suit up. Yes, come on, 176 on Instagram. Yes, thank you. I'm not even going to try to say your names no more because I know y'all real creative with the names on Instagram. But as you come on in the room, say hi. But tonight, I just wanted to really just share a resource with you, which really blessed me, and I wanted to share it with you. It wasn't even on my list. Y'all know I have that list. I don't even know where it is at this moment. I have this list of things I was going to be talking about for the next few weeks. If you have been living under a rock, A, I released a book, right? And we're having a, a big kickoff for it at the Bronze Lens Film Festival, Saturday, August 24th. That's in a couple of weeks. Oh, my gosh. And I'll be teaching all day. And that event is called Level Up to Stardom. Learn the business of acting and how to audition like a pro from 10 to 6. The link Instagram is in my bio. Facebook is above or below. So that's why the theme is called Level Up to Stardom. And I figured I'm just going to keep giving y'all tips and showing up as best as I can. So here's the thing. Um, hi, Nancy. <laughs> so, you know, if you, if you are not from the school of thought, what I teach my actors and what I do for myself, I teach often about... Um, well, I guess this kind of is on my list. This is on my list. I teach about dressing the part. And what I mean by that, it doesn't mean to be in full what we call costume, right? But I believe anything that we put on, thank you for the love, Facebook. Thank you. Hey, Abiola. Hey, Emil. Anything we put on becomes a costume. This t-shirt and these jeans I have on is technically a costume right? So when I book a gig, a TV show, film, whatever, they may put me in jeans and a t-shirt, but guess what? That's a costume. I had a fitting for it. It's like the clothes that represent my character. So I know a lot of, and I'm just going to speak to what I know I hear some of my clients saying, but this casting director said, don't dress in costume. I got the audition invite. Ooh, that fan. Hold on. Ugh. It's like, it's keeping me cool. It's like giving me a headache at the same time. Like giving me brain freeze. Y'all ever experienced that? <laughs> so I get the confusion that comes up when someone says, don't dress in costume. And so that just makes you confused. So when you think of costume, you think of some Victorian dress with a corset, right? Or a tux and the little flappy things and like a wig. Uh, shout out to Jade, Michelle, if you come on tonight. Notice my nails are off. That's for a reason. Um... So I wanted to talk about alluding to something. And so you don't always have to be extremely literal. Like if you're playing a cop, you don't have to have on a fake badge from the Dollar Tree <laughs> and like a little toy gun, like pew, 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 like Kevin Hart style, pew, 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 right? We're not going to do that. However, my school of thought and what I have actually done, and if you've looked at my IMDb or any of my reels, you will see that I've played plenty of authoritative roles. Cops, FBI agents, army, you know, military kind of stuff. And it is because aside of how I show up, you know, as my essence and all that, I also show up very much alluding to character. Dare I say all but the badge. And for those of you in the Southeast to be like, no, it's different in Atlanta. No, I used to do the same thing in Atlanta. Alluding to is not full costume. I'm not coming with a hat, a police hat, and fake badge, fake pum 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 guns, right? I'm not doing that. But I will have a shirt that's like a general, um, hey, Elise, 
Shout out to the global actor, right? I will have a shirt that is a um that alludes to something that I can use, whether it's a security guard at a mall or a cop, right? It's just that it's that alluding to. So just know anything you put on is a costume. Every item that you choose to wear for an audition is because to you, it is in line with what that character represents. Yes or yes. So if you say, nah, she would wear a t-shirt with this, or she would wear a v-neck, or she would show some cleavage, or she would wear like a hoochie, some hoochie skirts, or he would wear a suit. Nah, he would wear a suit, a, but a collared shirt, but no tie. And this is, this is the reason why. Like all of that counts. You can't come up with these answers until you do character development, which we talked about last week. If, again, this is episode 176 of Actors Daily Bread, and we've been doing, this is day 14 of Level Up to Stardom. So the, for the past 14 days, this is just all we've been talking about. So come to YouTube if you need to catch up or come to Facebook. So I'm not going to really backtrack to what we talked about last week, but you have to do that character development taking, I don't care if it's 10 minutes, Sheila's in the house, hey Sheila, right? I don't care if it's 10 minutes or if you have a day to prep, you have to first create who this is. So if it's guard number two, doctor number one, or her name is Joanne, you get to fill in the blanks, even if the script doesn't provide it for you. So once you do that, so we did that, we're putting it to the side, then we get to decide what should I wear? What represents her? What represents the scene? What represents the show? So that's just a general dressing for the part thing. So I want to give you the freedom. I want to give you the permission because that's what I find actually is when I'm talking to either clients or just fellow actor friends, sometimes people just want permission. Can you put a me, can you put me in the comments if sometimes you just wanted permission for someone to just say, it's okay that you wear blank. It's okay. <laughs> sometimes y'all just want permission and I'm here to give you permission. Dress the part. Do not go rent a Victorian costume or a full cop outfit, but dress the part. Because I think they're only talking about, you know, casting people are only talking about that because some people take it too far. But let me also speak before I get, uh, tonight I wanted to share a resource. This, I got cards and I want to share this resource with you. But this was also on my list to talk about. Nancy says me, Abiola, I see your thumbs up. Yes. Um, Neil, you done left Facebook and then went to uh, Instagram. <laughs> Why is it that I know y'all's Instagram names too? I love it. <laughs> um, oh God, what was it about? Okay, I wanted to say this. I think too, and just know, especially if you're new to me, I'm from New York. I'm from the Bronx, Boogie Down Bronx. I lived, I lived in New York until I was 14. I moved to Georgia at that age. So I, my upbringing in film and TV is based got based out of Atlanta. So before you say, Christine, you don't understand, it's different here, it's not. You may wanna make it different, but I'm here to tell you. Keep in mind, every casting director is gonna have an opinion. Just like every casting director has an opinion on postcards and social media and reaching out to them. You can't get locked in on one thing. Just like some, we did a whole video about stage directions. Like some tell you don't pay attention to them, but yet somehow when I do, I book it. Like, so they're trying to avoid people making this big mistake. The uh, green actors who don't know where the line is. <laughs> and that comes from practice, that comes from coaching. But understand, yes, they're casting directors, and yes, they're, but understand first that they're humans. And when that, I've shared this in a video, if you don't have my self-tape mastery, it's a free five-part series, you can go to selftapemastery.com. I hope I'm not lying. <laughs> I think that's, I, I'll have to check. I'll put in the comments if it is. Instagram is in my bio. Facebook, I have to get back to y'all. But I have a whole video about dressing the part. And I, I play a lot of doctors, right? Do doctors, therapists. And I, 
I shared that there's one shirt that I wear for all those auditions. It's this kind of turquoise blue um, sweater. And I did a whole video with my Booking Magnet Academy members and my Inner Circle members who are in my, who coach with me about the psychology of color and why I chose that shirt and why every time I wear that shirt, I book the job. Now, it's not just about the shirt. It does mix with my experience, my resume, how good I am as an actor, but do not dismiss the power, that color, how it affects psychology people. And yes, they're a casting director, but I've had so many casting directors in my audition be like, well, I could just listen to you for hours. Like, I just want to tell you my problems. <laughs> and they're like, have you ever done this before? And I'm like, actually, I'm a life coach. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> right? Like, so they're still human beings. So to the resource I'm sharing with you tonight, and then I'm going to go because I do need to study. So a lot of you know, I do a lot of authoritative roles. Uh, so whether, again, we talked earlier, FBI agent, cop, lawyer, that kind of thing. Um, so I found this place. So I say this to say some of my clients have said they've had a hard time finding uniforms. This is I said all I went around the world to say this. Some of y'all have had a hard time finding uniforms. Of course, you can just Google them online. Then you're confused about what they mean. Um, and so I just found this store. It was actually a mile away from my house. And the website, I'll put it um, on Facebook. It's uniformw.com. I'm going to put it here on Facebook, uniformw.com. I am not affiliated with this. I wish I can get some affiliate commission, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm literally just putting this here to serve you because they do deliver, and I got some of their cards, right, uniformw.com. But here's the deal. Like, they were super cheap, y'all. Because usually I tell my clients, go to, you know, try to go to Goodwill or try to go to um, the Salvation Army, you know, find you a used shirt. But it's like a legit uniform store. Like they have, and I know this isn't the only one that exists. I get that. But this is the one near me and they deliver. So that's why I wanted to share with you. And I was, the guy was like, this lady's overexcited. So I went in there today looking all official. I had like my, where are them glasses at? Once I found it, I was like, oh, let me go in there. But I was dressed in all black. I didn't have my wig on. I had just, I walked in. I walked in like looking for my uniform. Right? And the guy comes up. He's like, oh, hi, can I help you? Are you looking for the LA blah, blah, blah? But he starts using all these abbreviated terms. And I was like, oh, oh I'm just an actor. <laughs> I, I'm, I walked in in character. I was just like. License of, registr license of registration, that was my vibe. So he started talking to me in code and I was like, oh no, 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 sir. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm looking forward to you. <laughs> I'm looking for the short sleeve shirts. <laughs> so, but everything was everything I bought. I bought, they had like these uniform pants. And I was like, they had, not only do they have my size and waist, they're like actual, cause everything is like legit. Like if you work for law enforcement, this is where you go buy your stuff. So the inseam is 36. Now to me, that is great because I have a 34 inch inseam, I'm tall. But not only that, they had a, a person who did alterations in the back. So if you get it shipped to you, just know you're gonna have to get them hemmed, which is no problem to me because I was like, I could do a little temporary hem and be good. But these pants were, these pants were $15.99. So now I have a good old sturdy pair of pants that are only for this type of role. But for me, it's worth the investment. Why? Because I go out for this types, these types of roles all the time. Another one, here in LA, if I go out for some kind of LA County Sheriff, this is the color they use, that brown. So it's a short sleeve. I'll show it to you. And they had a fitting room, so I tried it on. So in case you're wondering, I wear a medium right? The sh all the shirts were, let me confirm. I feel like they were $15.99 or $16.99. Let me get my receipt. Let me get my receipt. All the shirts were $16.99. The shirts were $16.99 and pants were $15.99. So this is the shirt. So you see there's no badges on it. But for years, I've been wearing the light, my light blue, like security mall cop shirt 
for all my police auditions anything with police not detective because detectives got a blazer but any kind of police or security i would i've been wearing this light blue one i'll show you i'll show you because we're in my office where i keep so this was the light blue one i've always worn you guys have probably seen this my whole thing was just have something that had this i would wear this for anything in the army navy Anything like that wasn't in in the field. If it's in the field, then I, I wore my green combat kind of colors. But I, this shirt is so old. But you see how it's still effective? I don't have to have nothing on it, but something just about these little things make it effective. Y'all feeling me? Y'all quiet tonight. You know when y'all quiet, make me want to hop off quick. But I'm going to show y'all anyway. So the fact that these are like legit, legit, this is the actual shirt. So I didn't buy anything else with the little divots in the back and everything. So I think I'm actually going to go back there and get it tailored when I have some time. So that is for LA. So I just kind of just want to show you. Then I got the same shirt, but I got it in this kind of dark navy blue. This would be great just for like a regular police officer and or security officer. Security officer, police officer. Gen generic so any other state like i know cali cali does this the our sheriff department does this but most sheriffs if they say you are for a sheriff department is this color and then this is police right and this could also be fire department but then i got the white version y'all know for those of you who don't know i was in um i am in if you have Netflix, it's a show called What If with Renee Zellweger. And if you catch me in episode three, I'm the fire chief on that show. And when I auditioned for that show in Canada, I taped it. I, I didn't have this shirt. I wished I did. So I just wore a button-down shirt that I happened to pack. But it wasn't happen. I knew I was going out of town for two weeks, and I know I auditioned for the same type of stuff. So... All of this, these three, so that this is like upper management, right? Upper management, fire department, things like that. And Google it and you'll see that's the same shirt. So that three shirts plus the official pants. And then I got a, um, you don't need this for an audition. I got like a little tactical bag. The tactical bag was like $19. So $106.15 after tax for all of that. And I don't have to buy nothing again. When I tell you these, unless I spill some red wine on something, these are it. I had this blue shirt for at least 10 years that I think I bought for $5. <laughs> Hi, April Nicole. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> Miss Tony says you are a true gem. Oh, God bless. Thank you. So I say all that to say the website, Facebook, I pasted it there. It's uniform, singular, uniform W dot com it stands for uniform warehouse and i just personally thought the prices to be brand new and to be actually the real thing like they had everything in there police jackets tactical boots cuffs let me tell you I, when i walked in there i was like man i just be in full character because i didn't have this wig on either i was just like i just embody that <laughs> they didn't have these though i would have bought some more of these um so anywho, I hope you find that helpful. You may not. Maybe you never go out for these roles. Um, hi, Crystal Lee Brown. She said she got her book in the mail yesterday. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, I released a book last week. And so I've been getting so much love from all of you. And I'm so grateful. Um, take a picture with it, girl. When you feel cute, take a picture with it. All right, I'm going to say goodnight because I got to go. But again, Uniform, Instagram, uniformw.com. It's called Uniform Warehouse. Facebook, I gave you the link. And look, is I would say for my career, this, you guys know, this closet in my office is just for costumes. Costumes. And by costumes, that could be t-shirts, anything that I wear for characters on a regular. That way, I don't reinvent the wheel, Right? Some of y'all freak out when you have an audition. Like, what am I going to wear? I freak out a little bit about hair. <laughs> I have to really think through the character. I'm like, what hair is she going to wear? That's my first question. But um, clothes, I don't. Because I just keep go-tos. I don't need 10 suits. I just need one good suit. 
when it comes to auditions, not my real life. I understand those are two separate things. So keep a costume closet so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time an audition comes in. That'll save you hours for, for men and women. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, if you're watching on Facebook or, or uh, YouTube, please subscribe or hit the like button. And if you have a fellow actor friend who needs to hear this, share it with them. Don't be stingy. We had a great new podcast come out today. There is a Hollywood Bound Actor podcast that I, that I am the creator of. And I interviewed Kina Ferguson, who's an amazing actress, coach, choreographer. She's a mainly, like, she also does content creation. So if you've been wanting to work on your web series or film or short film or feature, and you don't know where to start or need some tips, Kina Ferguson is my girl. And she um, is also my accountability partner. Um, she's in Atlanta right now shooting a show, so she is really connected to the industry. So wherever you like to listen to podcasts, just type in The Hollywood Bound Actor and check it out. It's, it was really, really informative. And next week, we're going to put out an episode. If you've ever wanted to work on your dialects or accents, I interviewed Karen Strassman, who I did Bosch with on Amazon, and it is like an amazing episode. So if you want to work on your accents or if you just have some speech issues and want to work on like speech therapy... Oh, you're going to love it. So stay tuned for that last next week. Um, all right, guys. Have an amazing night. Love you all. Thank you for hanging. Bye.